Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Nelson Azorokwam. In this video, I will be demonstrating the fingerprint image matching software I've developed. What does this uh, software do? The software um, um, takes uh, fingerprint images and it matches them and tells you if the, if the fingerprints belong to one person or not. The software is written in C Sharp, Windows Forms, and it works in two ways. Firstly, it allows you to compare two fingerprint images, and based on this uh, comparison, it determines whether they are matched or not. Then, secondly, it allows you to import multiple fingerprint images, and then you examine them to detect any duplicates among them. So I will I will start now. I will run the the software now so you can see how it works. Alright, so the the software is opened here. You can see um on this corner here I have the the menus. Upload prints, records, delete prints, check duplicate, compare, threshold. So I'm um, I'm going to start with the um the one to one uh, comparison. How do I do that? You go to this uh, compare right here. There's a button here compare. So you click on it. Then this form comes up. I'm going to make it um smaller. Now this um, this compare takes two images and then it matches them to tell you if the images belong to one person. So before making this video, I already scanned my my fingerprint images. You can see them here. I have my my um, left thumb which I scanned twice. You can see I have the um, LT1, LT2. So um, those are my left thumbs. I scanned, I scanned twice to get the LT1 and LT2. The same thing goes uh, to the to the um, right thumb. I scanned my right thumb twice to get the LT1 and LT2. You can see them here. So what I'm going to do is, for a start, I'm going to take um, my left thumb, then compare it with my right thumb to see if we are going to get a match or a not match. Alright, so how do I get the images? I click on browse for the first image. I go to fingerprints. Here, let me take my um, the LT1 here. That's my left thumb. And uh, on the second image, I'm going to also click browse. And here, let me take my um, LT1. That's my right thumb. So I'm going to click on match now when i click on match the software will tell me if these uh, two fingerprint images belong to one one finger or not not necessarily one one person but one finger okay so let me click match and as you can see we are getting a not match response so these two these two um is telling me that these two fingerprint images belong to a different finger right now um if you can notice we also have here the score this is like the similarity score so it's trying to tell me um the level of similarities that uh, these two guys have okay so i'm going to click ok here to close this out then I am going to try to use the same fingers now. I'm going to use the same fingers now. I am going to I'm going to use my right thumb. I have scanned it twice, so I'm going to um, pick the first the first one for the first image and pick the second one for the second image. So I'll click browse again. So here I'll use LT1. Nothing changes because that's what we have here before, LT1. So 
for the second image i will use the lt2 now so in this scenario i am expecting it to tell me that the both of them matches because of course the two the two images belong to the same finger i scanned it twice but still belongs to the same finger so i'll click match now and you can see just like i expected um we we got a match response and um you can see our similarity score here is um 62 so the compare was um it was successful and the two fingers matched right so that is for that is for compare the compare is like one to one matching so you're taking one image and you're matching it with one image so there is also like i told you earlier there is also kind of like a one to many match so the system also allows you to um import multiple fingerprint images then you examine these images to detect any duplicates among them okay so that is what i am also going to demonstrate now so i will close this one out so but um before i do that i would like to um to create this image these um duplicates i would love to create them like majority of them so i'll go to my fingerprint here um and i'm going to make more copies of this more copies let me make another copy make another copy and make another copy so um for the left thumb let's say we now have um let's say 12 12 uh 12 images for the left thumb now let me make more copies of the right thumb make one copy make another copy I want to copy and copy. So for the right thumb, we have we have twenty images. So for the left thumb, we have we have twenty images, and on the right thumb, oh no 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 sorry, I'm supposed to count the selected items. So that's it. The 10 items selected so on the left thumb we have 10 images and on the right thumb we also have 10 images okay let me close this out so i am going to import these images now into the software i'm going to import them i'm not just going to import them um when i'm done with the with um importing them i'm also going to view them so that you see them you so you are sure it's right here on the software first of all let me do the lead print just to make sure we don't have any any fingerprints already on the software so my delete was successful so now i am going to import these uh, prints how do i do that go to you go to upload prints here you click upload prints now you can import them as a file you can do let's say you know you import multiple files here so when you import you're going to see their file names here okay you can also import import them from a folder you can do import folder and let's say we select the fingerprint folder and do click on select folder here you can see the button here select folder click on it so that will also um let me let me clear this first um, let me make sure this is empty so you will see that uh, the files we are imported i'll go back again select fingerprints click select uh, folder you can see we have uh, we have the findings here okay 
so um what what i will do now is i will click this upload images here so that i will have them saved on, um, inside the database of the software I click upload you can see prints uploaded successfully you click ok so now we have about 20 fingerprint images uploaded into the software and we know that this fingerprint images has duplicates within them now i am going to go to records you can see here we have records so i can click on records to view those images that i have uploaded click on records you can see here i have the image i can scroll down so you can see that all the all the images get get uploaded you can see you can see and on top here you can see we have 20 records that's the 20 fingerprint images that we that i uploaded earlier so i'll close this now so the next thing will be running a duplicate check on these records that i have uploaded how do i do that we have an option for it here you can see here we have duplicate check so what is this duplicate check go i'm going to do this duplicate check is going to look through all the images and for each of the image is going to check the rest of the images if there is if there is duplicates you understand so if we have um like we have 20 images it's going to take one image um loop through the rest of the 19 images and to check if we have any duplicates right so let me let me do let me demonstrate that i will click on check duplicate here the button with the green uh, label i will click on it so you can see here it's telling me i have 20 fingerprints available for check can see to check i need to click start now and you will look through these images and check for duplicate so i'll click on start you can see my duplicate checking is running now so you can see it's comparing you can see here for each one is going through the rest of the images to check for duplicate you can see and at the end of this check it should be able to tell me if i have duplicates or not and if I have, you should be able to tell me the number of duplicates. Yeah, beautiful. So you can see here, we have 180 duplicates. So that's it. So you can download the similarity score if you want. Um, let me show you what this does. I'm going to click download similarity score log. I'm going to save it here download successful and i can go to the location where i saved it which is these uh, fingerprints here is the file i downloaded and double click to open it and you are going to see for each of the comparison that happened it's going to show me the the similarity score you can see when we did compare from this to this, you can see we got um, 210, and I believe this means match. You can see the ones with the lower similarity scores, those ones means not match. So you can see. Let me scroll down so that you will see. So that's the, that's the similarity score log here. Now, so I'll close this. Um, another thing I want to point out is the the software comes with this. You can see here we have threshold settings. So it's a way for you to um set the the um the accepted rate. So when you when you modify this, it affects the the fingerprint matching. For example. If I should take this to one, what it means now is that for matches that their similarity score 
is up to one it's going to see it as matched okay so earlier it was at 40 you can see it was at 40 40 okay let me let me let me demonstrate this let me make this one save so let now let me do um um if i try to do um, if i try to do the check duplicate again let me check duplicate if i do it again so you will see how this threshold settings affects the whole system so my comparing is going now now can you see we now have more duplicates can you see if i download the log let me replace this one okay so if i go to this and i open up my my log open up my log you are going to see that um these ones that we have if we had set for this one that we have similarity score of three points if we had set our threshold to 40 this will mean not much but because our threshold was set to one this now means matched because uh, it exceeds what we set on our threshold so that is it guys um if you're interested in having the source code you can find my contact details in the video description feel free to reach out to me also if you found the video helpful don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel leave any comments or questions below i will be more than happy to engage with you thank you for watching and uh, have a great day